हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट विथ चैप्टर सिक्स ऑफ मॉड्यूल थ्री दैट इज एप्लीकेशन प्रोटोकॉल्स फॉर आईओटी सो हियर यू विल बी स्टडिंग टू मेन टॉपिक्स दैट इज द ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर एंड आईओटी एप्लीकेशन ट्रांसपोर्ट मेथड्स सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद दिस टॉपिक सो आईओटी एप्लीकेशन प्रोटोकॉल्स व्हिच वी सिलेक्ट शुड बी अकरिंग ऑल डिपेंडेंट ऑन द यूज केसेस एंड वर्टिकल इंडस्ट्रीज दे अप्लाई टू so iot application protocols are dependent on the characteristics of the lower layers for example application protocols that are sufficient or which are applicable to generic nodes and traditional networks will not be well suited or applicable for constrained networks or constrained nodes as i have already told you what are constrained networks and constrained nodes so traditional networks and nodes will not be applicable for constrained nodes and networks so let us start with the transport layer okay so this transport layer uh, tells us the selection how to select a protocol for transport layer supported by tcp ip with respect to iot networks so here again iot networks we are referring to iot networks so whatever we select it should be suited for the iot networks so the main the two main protocols uh, specified here are first is uh, the tcp that is transmission control protocol and second is udp that is user datagram protocol so uh, the main difference the main huge difference is that tcp is a connection oriented protocol and udp is a connection less protocol okay that is the main uh, major difference so in tcp we require a session to get established between the source and the destination before exchanging any of the data okay before you you know if you want to exchange something you have to establish a session it's like you know uh, having uh, an appointment you know you should take a appointment to do something so and here they have given an example of telephone conversation uh, okay so for the communication purpose firstly two phones must be connected and a link should be established before any two persons can talk or communicate so establishing a connection and a link is very important before the conversation begins okay that is the first thing then uh, coming to udp so i have already told you udp is a connection less protocol where data can be quickly sent between source and destination but with no guarantee of delivery so that is the catch here okay uh, it the data will be sent quickly but there is no guarantee of the delivery so this can be and they have given example of a traditional mail delivery system where the letter is mailed to destination but the confirmation is guaranteed only when another letter is sent in response again for example so if you have sent if you you know if you have sent a mail to a friend then sometimes what happens when you send a mail uh, you will get a message like it it is sent but it will not be deliver, delivered to that particular person what do you do you can ping a whatsapp message or you can just call that person and ask whether you have got that particular mail or no then you get a confirmation so for example if it is already sent then you know it's okay but if it is not sent what you do you just resend a mail so in the same way here traditional mail delivery system what happens uh, if you uh, mail a letter to a person so confirmation is guaranteed only when that another letter is sent in response so that is the uh, there is about udp but uh, tcp is always considered as the main protocol why because it has ability to transport large volumes of data uh, into smaller sets of uh, packets and it also helps in uh, assembly in correct sequence then flow control and transmission of lost packets but in contrast udp is most often used in dns that is uh, uh, domain name systems then ntps that is network time protocol snmp dhcp or for real time data transfer including voice and video over ip so here voice and video for example uh, if you are watching a movie uh, but uh, you you are getting video is you know playing in the right way but audio is you know you have 2 minutes delay or 3 minutes delay then it is useless so this is because in such cases performance and latency are more important than packet transmissions because resending a lost or voice packet is useless getting it so when when you are watching a movie video and audio should be at the same time you cannot watch a movie with 2 uh, minutes audio delay okay that is the difference here so you have to for, for that time you have to use this udp 
protocol instead of tcp okay so whenever we are selecting a transport layer uh, you know protocols iot application layer protocol or any uh, this thing any protocols it is better to consider the both upper and lower layers of the stack okay these application layer pro protocols will be studied further in detail okay so this is about the transport layer so two main protocols are tcp and udp okay thank you